today we're going to discuss the economy of the southeast. The objectives I'd like for you to learn from this video are to describe the products produced by farms in the southeast, identify renewable and non-renewable resources found in the southeast, summarize the importance of several industries in the southeast economy, and describe the importance of tourism to the economy of the southeast. Let's go ahead and get started. The southeast is great for farming. There is rich soil, plenty of rain, and a lot of sunlight. The southeast also has mild short winters, which means they can grow crops even longer. When the first settlers from Europe came to the southeast, they began to grow crops. The first crops were indigo, which is a plant used to make a dark blue dye, and tobacco. Later, they began to grow rice and cotton, and by the middle of the 1800s, cotton was the most important crop grown in the southeast. It was sold to Great Britain and in the northeast. Now, it isn't as important to the economy of the southeast. However, most every state, almost every state in the southeast still grows some cotton and tobacco. Farmers in the southern states grow other crops too. North Carolina is known for growing sweet potatoes. Georgia for peaches and pecans. And Florida for oranges. Let's talk about natural resources. In addition to rich soil and good climate, the southeast has other natural resources that include trees, oil, and coal. Natural resources like trees can be replaced by planting new trees. These are called renewable resources. Renew renewable resources uh, are called that because they can re be replaced or renewed. The opposite of renewable resource is a non-renewable resource. This is a resource that can't be simply replaced. These are natural resources like oil and coal. They take millions of years to form. Once the coal or oil is used up, it's gone forever. These two resources, though, are, are very important to our economy. People have been burning coal as fuel for thousands of years. Most of the coal mined in the United States is used to run power plants that make electricity. Petroleum, or which is another word for oil, is another important underground resource. To reach oil, workers drill deep into the ground. The oil is pumped to the surface where it is shipped to oil refineries. A refinery is a factory. It's a factory that turns the oil into useful products such as gasoline and heating oil. Are you wearing a shirt made of cotton? Perhaps the cotton was made from cotton grown in the southeast. For many years, textile, which is another word for cloth, Textile manufacturing was an important industry, especially in, in states like North Carolina. Currently, more and more textiles are being made in other countries. So as textiles have become less important to the Southeast economy, electronics and computer industry, the technology industry, have become even larger industries in the Southeast. Also, Today, many factories in the southeast manufacture items like paper, furniture, chemicals, cars, and soft drinks. These factories provide employment for many people. A lot of research happens near universities near Raleigh and Durham in North Carolina. Scientists there study everything from dinosaur eggs to space flight. Florida and Alabama also have important centers for space research. Cape Canaveral, which is in Florida, is on the Atlantic coast of Florida, 
is the home of John F. Kennedy Space Center, which includes the Space Shuttle Launch Pad, a Space Shuttle Landing Facility, a Visitor Center, the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, and a building for putting together space vehicles that has eight acres of floor area inside the building. Another important industry in the southeast is service. There's a type of person called a snowbird. These people live in the north during the summer and, in, and then visit the south during the winter to get away from the cold. Some snowbirds stay for the whole winter, but others, they just travel south to get away for a short time. This leads to tourism being a big industry in the southeast, which means there's attractions like beaches, national parks, theme parks, and famous places to visit. One famous place is called Colonial Williamsburg. And this is in Virginia. This place, this place, was an important city in the colony of Virginia. The early colonial area of the city began to be restored in 1926, and it was developed as a tourist attraction. The historic area now includes more than 500 buildings. Exhibition buildings are furnished like they were in the colonial times, and they include the Capitol Building, the Governor's Palace and Gardens, the Public Jail, and the Raleigh Tavern. Another important tourist attraction is the city of Orlando, which is located in Central Florida. This city attracts over 56 million tourists a year. The city is well known for its attractions such as the Disney World theme parks, SeaWorld, and Universal Studios theme parks. That's our lesson for today. Thanks for joining.